Hi everyone! Today I'll be showcasing Beyond Paint's countertop flex and giving you all the tips and tricks for when you're applying it to your countertops. So let's get started. Beyond Paint carries three different flex. We've got Smoked Gray, which is a variety of gray hues from light to dark. There's Oxford Bronze, which has rich golden brass tones. And they've also got Autumn, which has tones of brown and tan. So the first thing you're going to do if you're updating your countertops are clean them off with Simple Green or Zep Degreaser. Then we'll go in and tape off any areas that aren't needed. Now that we've done that, we're going to apply our first coat of Beyond Paint in the color of our choice. Today I'm using Mocha for the Autumn Flex, Off-White for the Oxford Bronze, and soft gray for the smoked gray flex. Once our first coat is applied with a 3 8 inch microfiber roller, we're gonna wait two to four hours for drying time. After we wait the appropriate amount of time for drying, we'll be applying the second coat of Beyond Paint. Now, right after I apply the second coat, I'll be immediately applying the flex. The container comes with a shaker top, so it's going to be very easy to apply. I'm just shaking all over with a light hand until I get my desired look. Because I'm using my roller, Beyond Paint will sit high so it's grabbing and pulling the flex down into the paint. If you have countertops that go up onto your kitchen wall, you will need to take some flex in your hand and do a throwing technique. To get in between the creases, I recommend using any kind of card and pushing down into the crease. After applying the flex, you can either wait a minimum of 8 hours or overnight. In this case, I waited overnight and came back the next day to sand with 320 grit sandpaper. And I'm doing this to sand down any flex that didn't lay flat on the countertop during application. Once I sand and wipe off any unneeded particles, I'll be applying one to two very thin coats of Beyond Paint's multi-purpose sealer on the countertop. Before using the sealer, be sure to press really hard on the roller in the paint tray to remove any excess sealer. Now that the sealer is dry, I'm going to be pulling off the tape, which is always the scariest part for a lot of DIYers. But not to worry because Beyond Paint's superior bonding capabilities and nanotechnology, you'll have perfect lines every time without having any paint come up. And there we have it, an easy countertop makeover using Beyond Paint's countertop flex, paint, and multi-purpose sealer. Thanks so much for watching, and if you guys have any questions at all, please feel free to message us or comment down below. Don't forget to shop Beyond Paint for your next DIY project, online and in stores, and now at your local Lowe's.